Hello, everybody. Today, I thought uh, it might be a fun little idea to go through and look at um, the inside of one of my favorite songs that I've written. Um, this is Beware of the Temple. Um, it's, it's actually a very simple song. There's only five instruments and it, it, it took a while for me to actually land on where this is now. I had a couple of different versions, um, which sounded nothing like this. Um, But, you know, as I was writing all of them with each version, I, I, I sort of got an idea of, you know, I was refining my sound. So the first version I made um, too broad in scope and then I refined it a little. And then I, when making this, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to start over and not work with what I had before. Just make a new project and go from there. Um, and the first thing that I did was find this instrument. It's just playing a chord, it's just two notes. But it sets the mood so well that I didn't even need to change that chord throughout the whole song. And this sound was really reminiscent to me of Naissance and the music from that game. Um, and when going into this, I thought that Naissance's uh, soundtrack would be a great inspiration for this because what this was for was for, you know, an ancient uh, temple that's supposed to be like, uh, you know, it's, it's got to feel powerful, right? And so going into this is like, how can you portray scale? How do you hear the power that something has? And I thought uh, Naissance with its accordion-like sound, um, with long ambient accordion. I thought that was really good. Um, and so this instrument here is uh, one way it sounds like that. And it's, 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 <laughs> it's actually just strings with, um, with harmonics. It's, it's, it's very simple, but it, it sets the tone so well. And then every so often there will be these little flares. Ah, that's right. Here's here's where those flares come from. We have the same instrument. So this this would be what causes those little flares. This part right here specifically that part with the low end it's it's you hear it it's so noticeable in the song and it's just it feels so powerful um but the next instrument that i added which this instrument here was in my first two attempts i now i i thought that this instrument just it was so very b like like it almost sounds like a b you know f buzzing f flying flying around but like as an instrument, you know, portrayed as an instrument. And then these would share the same melody, have a little uh, harmony, harmonizing going into that. So if we play all of them. So here, it's my favorite, favorite part with this low end.
I just love that so much. I can't get enough of that. Um, and then this bit here, this instrument, um, it actually comes from uh, Ethno World 6. Um, it's if I remove the effects. <laughs> it's it's incredible what just a few effects can to complete utterly change a sound and add so much to the 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 song like like um here I'll play when it comes in Listen for it. You can barely hear the 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 um You can barely hear the notes. You only hear it as a tone. Um, now, when I chose this sound, this preset, um, let's see, this had a specific note to it. When I chose this, I was specifically thinking of in the Stanley Parable, uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, in one of the scenes, there's like a desert and the music that plays there. Which also was a huge inspiration for this. Um, just the, the way that strings are used in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe's soundtrack. Um, just all of that. Just, I don't know, it, it, it just encompassed this. Just just that natural, real sound of, of uh, an ethnic, ethno strings that aren't, you know, violins. <laughs> I mean, violins are, they're good, they have their place, but uh, it's, it's, it sounds far more interesting like this. And then here, what is this? Ah, yes, accordion. The accordion, of course, came from Naissance, and the accordion being its main instrument. Um... And I just love using accordions. I, 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 it is my favorite instrument by far. I, it's so fun. It has such a fun sound. And I only recently bought, um, uh, uh, things with accordions in it. So I've only recently started using them, but they, they're so fun. Um, and I love this little melody here that comes in halfway through the song. I, I don't know. It just, it, it, it makes you feel. Here, listen, listen to when it comes in. It just sounds so, I don't know, it sounds almost depressing, um, but it's, it's, it, 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 it makes you feel, I don't know, I'm, I'm not very good with words, but it's 
So when Telepathic Grunt uh, came to me and commissioned me to make this song, it was for, you know, the the B Temple. And it was going to play, uh, Telepathic Grunt explained it as um, it would loop while you're in the structure. And so I was thinking sort of like, oh, that's like biome ambience and, bi- you know, biome ambience loops. And when you're when you're making those, you know, coming from a, a sound design perspective, that's like, you know, how do you make something that's short? So, you know, a minute long that loops and doesn't sound repetitive. Well, for me, at least the easiest way to do that is to just have very little like audible variations that your ear can pick up on and like recognize as a, as a cue because then if you hear those you know you'll you'll notice that the loop um which sort of takes away from the feel and it's very hard to get a unique sound while also not you know having that and so here um this instrument here served doubly as a tone setter <clears throat> but also as an easy loop point. You know, this background tone can fade in, it can fade out, and it wouldn't sound weird, you know? My first two attempts were actual, like, songs that would, you know, beginning to end, they fade in, you know, add more instruments, climax, and then remove instruments, like how a lot of my other music is. But here, my my core idea was, no, it's not a song, it's an ambience, right? So you, you add these instruments to set up the tone, this isn't a song, it's a tone. It's a tone with melody. <laughs> and what I did very specific, very deliberately was to exchange which instruments are the dominant instrument. So you'd have one block, so here it's this melody. And then when it goes to the next one, it would add something, right? So here, when it gets to here, it's, it adds the, um, the strings. So in, in, you you hear that and it keeps you engaged because it's not just the same thing for eight minutes. You you are actively hearing the song change underneath you as it goes on. When it gets here, as the accordion, and this really just adds a little more uh, rhythm and, and time to the to the feel of the song because up until now, you know, two and a half minutes, it's been just tone ambience. But here, you you get to feel the rhythm. You get to feel a time, a time sense, a time sense of scale. And then after that, it drops it drops the melodies, drops the instruments, goes quiet for a second here. And I love this. You can hear the, the, the scale of things. With the reverb, especially, you know, it makes things sound bigger. And you, you have to be very careful with reverb because sometimes it can sound a little cheesy or I don't know if that's the right word, but it, it, it can sound not right sometimes. But here, you know, first few minutes you, you're setting up this tone you're setting up these sounds and especially with the uh marimba instrument here you are um you're filling in that that silence and then here when it all just goes away vanishes and you're just left with the silence of just the accordion, you 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 realize that's like instantly you recognize this space is huge. You you hear the scale at which not only the song is, but at which the temple is that you're exploring. And then here, the the little accordion melody. So then you know, everything comes back in and, and you are taking in everything, you know, going back in, right? And having the chords and notes uh, line up on like the same scale, uh, same chords and such, when you're using all these different instruments with their different uh, places in the, 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 I guess, room, you could say, you know, they each have their own spot, uh, I guess is the best way to describe that. When those share notes and you can hear the, the, the matching resonance of, of everything, it, it, feels far more powerful than if you were to just have um, like like uh, uh, complementing notes, right?
because when those when when things line up they they just they double the strength of how they feel right which is why often i might use octaves to just make a sound more powerful same idea here except instead of you know same note high pitch it's different instruments with their different uh timbres i think is how you say that word with their different characteristics their different sounds you know, sharing the note, it just, it builds this soundscape um, that you can't, uh, you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And throughout, and throughout this whole song, you, again, you have this tone, you're setting up the atmosphere, you're building up, then here, halfway through, drops the atmosphere so you can hear the scale, then this little melody here brings a little emotion into it, brings, it's, it's almost like your own personal sense of awe, you know, by the time that this starts playing, you are starting to recognize that yes, this is big, this goes on. There's so much more than just me. And your sense of awe, this realization pairs with this melody. It's like your brain halfway, you know, being mesmerized by what's happening and the other half being just terrified at the scale of things. And then once everything comes back, your sense of awe, you know, it's it's become familiar, so it becomes less prominent. And here it drops all the extra notes and it is just accompanying the rest of the thing. It's this, but at a higher octave. The Bumble Zone which is the mod that these songs were for, um, was the mod that got me into modding. And so, you know, when making music for it, I didn't just give 100%, I gave 150% because I knew that I, th this had holds a special place in my heart, um, which is why, you know, I, this this song here, I did not say, oh, telepathic grunt, use this one, pay me, good enough. No, I, this is, this is my third attempt and I would not be satisfied until I thought that it was as good as I could make it. And in doing so, in taking that time, in taking that persistence and effort, I made genuinely what I think is my best ambient song. And so that is how and why this is some of my best work. Um, thank you for indulging. I will see you next time.